Modafinil Analogs Update Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little update slash review on my current thoughts on the modafinil analogs that I found on eBay. Now, I recently did a couple of lists, some nootropics and things like that, but I really didn't feel right putting these kinds of analogs um, in the list because you can only really find them on eBay and there isn't that much information on them. And I do wanna say, Everything in this is gonna be 100% my personal opinion. There's very little you know, evidence, scientific evidence of these compounds. I mean, really the only ones that have been studied, it really is modafinil and FL modafinil, but both these aren't exactly the same. The only one that is close to it is the 4-fluoro modafinil, and that has one fluoro atom, whereas the FL modafinil that everybody knows has two fluoro atoms. So it's very, very similar. The fluoro version I have is kind of like a hybrid between the original modafinil and FL modafinil. And then there's also the um, CL modafinil, which really has no scientific evidence on it. There could be some crazy adverse side effect. Personally, I highly doubt it, but just putting it out there because there's been very few people even trying it. Um, you know, giving their opinions on it. So this is gonna be 100% my opinions. There's no scientific evidence. Right off the bat, it's probably the most premium legal stimulant that we have available right now. Um, it's hard to say, if I had to pick one, I probably would pick phenylparacetam hydrazide, but even that one, it takes a little while to work. You know, you could take a large dose of phenylparacetam and not really notice it. It's something that you notice a few days into it. The modafinil is a typical stimulant. It's gonna work right away. Um, it's the longest stimulant that I know of right now. It's even longer than things like DMHA, DMAA, and even Adderall, things like that. And even um, straight up meth, like meth lasts longer than Adderall, and this stuff lasts longer than meth. But don't freak out, it's not that kind of crazy. It doesn't really make you wanna retake it as much as those other things. And that's what's so great about this compound. Like, to me, I think somebody who, and this is just, again, my opinion, but somebody who's had addictions to kind of like harder drugs or really hardcore stimulants, I think you, you would really resonate with something like this because it's gonna give you that similar feeling that you like, that up dopamine feeling, but it's also not very abusive. Like I have never felt like redosing modafinil ever. And on top of that, like I said, it lasts all day. I mean, it would be very common for me to take it right when I wake up and to the very last minute of the day have excess energy. So I don't chain hardcore long lasting stimulants every day. And most of the time I give myself about two days in between taking them. So for the modafinil, like I would probably never take it two days in a row. And if I did, I would, you know, give myself a long break after. Like I really wouldn't want to take it two days in a row. People say, you know, uh, does modafinil just wake you up or does, some, does modafinil give you euphoria? I mean, there's some people on forums saying that it gives you kind of like a come up feeling similar to other speedy kind of drugs. And other people will come on here like uh, more plates, more dates. He came on here and said he took modafinil for years and it just wakes you up. Now, in my opinion, there is a next level slight euphoria to modafinil, but it's only when you first take it. You know what I mean? Like if you were already tired, if you've been taking modafinil every day, it would probably just keep you awake. Like you're probably not gonna get too much of those extra nootropic benefits. However, if you do take it once or twice a week, I mean, there is a noticeable you know, boost in mood. It not only wakes you up, but um, you know, you feel cognitively better, you feel a slight little bit of dopamine boost, but it's not something, again, that makes you wanna just keep taking it like normal dopamine supplements. And you know, I ha there's a weird feeling that I've gotten on this, and again, this is just all my personal feelings and my personal thoughts, but you know, a lot of people, if you were to take something like Adderall, like that would feel like the most dominant, the sh most strong thing you could take. Like if you were gonna go against somebody in some sort of competition, and you were to feel what Adderall feels like, I would think most people would be like, okay, that's what I'd want to use to go against people. But for some reason, when I, when I take modafinil and it really kicks in, I always think like I would destroy somebody on Adderall just because like, I don't mince words on modafinil at all. You know, it's almost like I could just like stare right through you and the second that I need to do something to beat you, I would beat you. There would be no, getting extra excited. Adderall can kind of throw you up and down, kind of throw your mood off, kind of gets you a little too jittery or a little off at times. Like the modafinil, it's just like, just straight focus, you know what I mean? Like it's crazy. So if I feel like if I had to go against somebody on Adderall, for some reason I feel like I could beat them just because I'm, probably just as focused, but I'm not really thrown off by the extra stuff that can happen with Adderall. Sometimes you have euphoria, sometimes 
there's a crash sometimes there's a lot of stuff that makes your mood go up and down i feel like modafinil is just so much more of a straight focus aid which is weird because um you know adderall is designed for focus and it does give you focus just for some reason i get this feeling that if i was taking modafinil i could beat somebody on that i've gotten that feeling ever since i've taken modafinil i've just never said it in the videos so my dosage here is usually um, sometimes I've actually been doing lower doses of like 30 and things like that, but a go-to dose for me would be, would be between 60 and 90 milligrams. For some reason, I've never just tried to see what 120 feels like. I think I could handle more stimulation, but what's great about this is there's no real desire to take more, to retake it, which is just great for a mood booster, for a dopamine booster. So. Um, I did find that the 4-chloro was probably a little bit stronger from when I've taken it, but I do find that the 4-fluoro is a little bit smoother. So if you want uh, like the modafinil with a little bit more smooth effects, I'd pick the 4-fluoro. It's going to be slightly less effective per milligram. That's just from my opinion. Maybe it would be stronger for you. I don't know. But then if you wanted something that's a little bit more traditionally stimmy, I would go with the 4-chloro version. I would probably have more nasty stimulation off DMHA and DMAA than I ever would off the 4-chloro modafinil. It's very, very, very smooth. I'm just saying comparing to the fluoro, it's probably a tad bit more stimmy. So anyways, guys, I do think these are right now probably the most premium legal stimulants. When someone's thinking of a stimulant, I mean, this would probably be number one. For me, if I had to pick, I'd probably edge the phenylparastem hydrogen side just because it has kind of like a brain healing effect as well like i don't think modafinil would ever heal your brain although it's probably not going to hurt your brain almost at all especially on these lower doses it's actually a really safe stimulant i don't know i would probably edge phenylpracetam hydrogide just a little bit over it but if you're talking about a classic stimulant there's almost nothing as premium and as nice as modafinil i love it i recommend you guys jump and buy them now if you can just because um this is the only place you can buy it if this sub if this vendor goes away i mean it's gone forever so i actually re just rebought a big bottle of the four chloro if you go and look on his on his listings he will list more grams for less dollar amounts if you really want to get a large amount you don't have to buy the 2.5 gram i think you can get like a 10 gram for like 70 or something and the 2.5 grams is either a 32 or 38 and it does take about 10 days coming from Europe, but I've always got it. I've ordered from this guy about eight times and it always comes. So anyways, guys, a little modafinil update. I still really like it. I can only take it one to two times a week to maximize it. It's a fantastic thing. I totally recommend you get it while you can. Just be safe and try a low dose because it is very, very strong. If for some reason you were to get anxiety with it, it's going to last all day. I don't really get very much anxiety, but there's a small chance just because it is a stimulant. So be careful with those dosage. Anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.